Hello, this is your friend, Dalim Programmer, and I am very happy to share that I am back with my React tutorial series. If you have been following me, you know that I used to make a lot of React tutorials on my YouTube channel, but unfortunately, since last 1.5 or 2 years, I wasn't making any tutorial videos on YouTube. But let's not go too deep into what I was doing and why was not I not making some videos. Let's look into the future. And I will be making videos again, I will be making tutorials again. And this time, I'm coming up with a whole new series called React Sprints. React Sprints. And the best part is, this time, I'm going to cover some uh, quick features, quick libraries, and a lot of things that can help you in your life if you are a software developer using React. Well, why the name React Sprints? You guessed it right. If you are a software developer, you know what's a sprint. The name has been inspired from that sprint itself. The sprint is nothing but a cycle in the software development process. You build a feature, cycle, you build another feature and so on. So similarly, we'll be doing something like this. We'll be building a lot of applications, web apps, features and all, uh, all those things. And have fun along the way and learn a lot of new things. So just to summarize, in this new series, I will be releasing a lot of tutorial videos playlists themselves where we'll be building some quick applications, some web apps or some features from scratch to learn some libraries or some animations or some techniques, tips and tricks that can help you in your life as a software developer. So with this video, you can actually now go to my YouTube channel youtube.com slash the lean programmer and you can check the first playlist, the first part of the React Sprint series. All the parts, all the playlists will be completely independent. You can watch any of Now before ending this video, I have one last thing to say. What can you expect from me in this series and what should I expect from you in this series? So in this series, what can you expect from me is in-depth learning, a lot of content and a lot of challenges. I believe in challenges based learning. So I'm going to, after almost every video, I'm give you, going to give you some challenge. Sometimes it's going to be easy, sometimes it's going to be tough. I want you to try out all those challenges and see how many of them can you do it. This will help you become a better learner. This will help you learn a lot more things in a lot more efficient way and for a long term. This is what you can expect from me. Good content, good challenges and a lot of learning. Now what should, what can I expect from you? What am I expecting from you actually. I will not beat around the bush, I will come straight to the point. So I want your support. This is the time when I really really look for your support and I would really appreciate it just by doing the small things like liking this video, liking all the videos uh, in the channel, uh, in the playlist, whichever you are going to follow, commenting on them, sharing them with your friends, it's going to help me a lot. And one more thing I want you to do is if you follow along my tutorial video, any of the tutorial, after you are done with the tutorial, just go to LinkedIn, paste a screenshot of what you have built and just summarize what all you have learned and put a link to my YouTube channel there, put a link to my YouTube playlist and tag me as well. This will help more people come to know about the, the, the learning playlists and this will be good for my challenge as well, channel as well. So I would really, really appreciate your support here. Second thing that I am expecting from you is that you are going to try out those challenges on your own because without actually challenge, doing those challenges, uh, you won't be an active learner. You can just follow along and copy and paste the code, but still you learn more if you actually try out those challenges on your own. And the third and the final thing that I'm expecting from you in this series is, see, I am not perfect at making videos. I'm not a perfect teacher. I'm, and but I'm willing to improve. I'm willing to improve for you. So our, I, what I want you to do is uh, I want you to write down what all areas can I improve in and secondly what do you want to learn next and let me know in this Google form. I'm providing you the link to the Google form. The link will be on your screen and uh, it will also be in the comment uh, in the description of this video. So just quickly go and fill those that Google form to let me know what do you want to learn next and how can I improve. After watching the videos, if you feel I can improve my teaching style, I can improve my content, just please let me know. That's it. I'm super excited to start teaching you a lot of libraries and a lot of concepts in React. Let's get started.